Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum guys. How are you everybody? Are you okay? I know this video is uploading late. That's why because I was busy in my personal work, so I'm sorry for that. Inshallah, next video uh, videos will be uploaded uh, continuously on my channel. So let's start. What's the topic for today? It's very interesting topic for today. It's late but interesting. Okay, the topic is development length. What is development length and state structure and where we provide development length and what's the purpose of development length? What's the formula of development length of steel bar? So this is the topic for today. If the video is helpful for you, so must like the video, right? Development length. What is development length? First of all, I will define it. Guys, development length provided to create a bond between steel and concrete in order to transfer the bar force without slip to prevent the bar from pulling out under tension. So this is definition for development length. First of all, I will also make its diagram. Sorry. As you can see guys, this is diagram in which I will show you development length. These are columns. And as you know, this is beam. Okay, so here you can also see these are loads on beam. Also UDL, etc. Okay, so here this is top bar and beam like this. And this is bottom bar and beam and top beam especially it goings like this okay so this length is called development length this is called development length LD so why we provide development length development length provided to create a bond between steel and concrete so here this is column and this is beam so it create the bond between steel and concrete this this length and the bottom is going like this okay or it's create the bond between two materials right in order to force and order to transfer the bar force okay so it transfer the steel uh, this steel bar transfer the load of self load of this beam and also the structure load transfer without the slip to prevent the bar from pulling out under tension that's why because top beam and plain beam these both are and and tension so these are tension members okay so it's prevent i'm sorry for nice so at the bar force without slip without slipping and prevent the bar from pulling out under tension so therefore we provide development length so now what's the formula for development length as per is 456 2000 development length formula is ld is equal 0.87 FY, what a, uh, FY which is a uh, yield stress of concrete, okay? Uh, sorry, uh, steel. Multiply dia divided by 4 TBD. Where FY is yield strain, uh, strength of steel and TBD is bond stress of grade of concrete. Because guys, development length is depend on the grade of concrete and grade of steel. So therefore, as you can see, this is yield strength of steel, Fy, and TBD is bond stress of grade of concrete. If the grade of concrete is good, for example, if that is uh, M, uh, M, M25, M30, so we, we, should take, uh, we should take the development length less. If grade of concrete is low, then we should keep it long so because it's depend on grade of concrete and grade of steel bar now guys the other formula if you don't know about this formula if you can't come to calculate anything so uh, by thumb rule by thumb rule okay 
प्रेम परदेश द डिवेलपमेंट लेंथ फार्मूला इज एल डी वेर एल डी इज बाय थम रूल फोर्टी फाइव डी टू फिफ्टी फाइव डी वेर डी इज डाया ऑफ स्टील बार विच यू आर यूजिंग एन बीम ओके आर डिवेलपमेंट लेंथ डाया राइट सो बट नॉर्मली वी कीप एट फिफ्टी डी इन प्रोजेक्ट्स it should not be less than 50d or 45d you can also but normally it use okay this is normally so guys this is the short video but very interesting video for you people about development length and where we provide development length so development length should be provided at the end of the supports as you can see this is column this is the other column and these both are supports so development length should be provided at the end of the support and this is the other one sorry this is the bottom so the bottom will be going upside and the top will be coming downside okay so these are called development length okay and this is formula for development length and this is by thumb rule formula for uh, development length and thumb rule and this is the uh, at sample definition so guys if you have any question about this video so you can comment so i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye